the bar. Leave me at the bar. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 68 of Life on Tap, a multimedia experience now from the heart of NYC. And speaking of, I just got back, had a lovely time, big props to Mia Abuela out there. Um, she just had a great birthday party out at her place in, in Jersey now. Uh, also, a great big shout out to my buddy Dave T-Bone Sullivan. Uh, and, and, you know, had a good time, had, had, had a couple, had an hour or so. Uh, catch up with him while I was in Jerez. Hopefully next time we'll do a tasting with him and some other people, possibly my parents. And also I want to give a, 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 a refugal shalema to, uh, out there to my sister, who unfortunately is uh, was uh, stricken ill. Uh, and and uh, best wishes, of course, go out to her and, and the rest of my fam who's with her right now. But in any case, um, on to the beer. So as promised... We're going to be doing the another one from the Bastille's Brewery out of Belgium, and this, of course, is the uh, Quack, not like a not like ducks, but Powell Quack beer. Now, apparently, um, I had to read up on this, but apparently, the story is that Powell Quack was actually the name of the brewer at Bastille's at the at, at the time, or so, or he was a brewer at the time, right? And he was the owner of like some sort of a, a shop. Near where uh, the near where the um, the monastery was that uh, housed it. So this this recipe is from seventeen the seventeen nineties. Uh, so very late on. So this is right around Napoleon. And um, apparently mail coaches used to stop at this at this place. Um, and apparently they weren't allowed to get out of their coaches. So what they did is that they came up with a very unique uh, glass that could ride on the side of or the coach, and it's kind of like almost hourglass shaped. And uh, and this is this is the beer that this is the beer that came out of it. It's a, it's a, it's so I um, this goes out to all the postal service, I guess, people. Then uh, <laughs> in, in a lot of ways as well. So as we can see, got an incredible amber color, still lots of carbonation, incredible. Incredible Belgian lace, and if you can see that right there, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have, I don't have a, you know, a, and a, a, the exact replica here, but I guess I'll just do my best with what we got. What we got. Wow, incredible malt. This is this is this is a malt malt monster. I'm totally feeling the malt off this. So I'm I'm getting kind of a. A similar taste off the yeast, I mean, similar smell off the yeast as I got the last time with the uh, triple Camerlier. A little bit of the deli action, like I was talking about before, a little bit of that grain coming through. Again, totally full. It's full bodied, but balanced. Um, actually, look at that. The head is re receded off of it now. Kind of almost looks like a uh, a dark sparkling dark cider now. Yeah, I'm still getting it's still definitely a malt taste, but very this is very easy drinking. Wow, I mean I think this will definitely be very easy to uh, to top off. Hopefully Cheryl will enjoy a glass. I mean a couple minutes, a nice cool refreshing beer out there on a very hot day that it is today. I'm still wearing my full shirt. I feel like I should just take this off. It's just getting so hot in here, I turned the AC on before. It's kind of crazy. And um, so um, that's 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 all of this beer. I'm going to go finish this off in a couple minutes. But I want to give a um, heads up out there. Uh, Cheryl and I had a chance to go to a, a couple really excellent restaurants. And I hope to basically impart some of our experiences um, to you guys on, the, on maybe one, uh, some of the next couple episodes. Along with some other beer reviews up and upcoming um, as, my, as my semester rolls over to a close before my summer session. But in any case, if you want to get in touch with us, it is uh, check us out on the web, lifeontap.net. Uh, you can email us at lifeontap at lifeontap.net. You can check me out there on Twitterverse and the Skypeverse. I am NewType2001. And on Facebook, I am, you can check me out right over here. And uh, hopefully, um, thank you guys so much. If you're still subscribed, if you're just, if you're just subscribed, thank you so much for joining us. And remember, life's a tap. Drink up till it's dry.